Question number 8. Solve using algebra the equation x minus 6 x to the power half plus 4 equals 0. Fully simplify your answers writing them in the form a plus b root of c where a, b, c are integers to be found. This question has 5 marks. You are given this equation. They want you to solve this equation. I think if I am not wrong this is from chapter 2. So whenever you have this type of equation or any weird looking equation they want you to solve, all we know is how to solve a quadratic equation. This is not a quadratic equation. So we are going to convert this equation into a quadratic equation. So if you take x to the power half as y and you square both sides, your x will be y square. And when you substitute in here, x is y square minus 6, x to the power half is y plus 4 is 0. We got the quadratic equation. We know how to solve this quadratic equation. Solve it, you get two y values. Replace y by x to the power half and solve again. So when you solve this, your y is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Use the formula method. So it will be 6 plus r minus square root of 36 minus 16 divided by 2 or 6 plus r minus square root of 20 by 2. It is a third actually. So if you have square root of 20, you can write it as square root of 4 times 5. Or you can split them using laws of indices. Square root of 4 times square root of 5. Square root of 4 is 2. So you can write it as 6 plus r minus 2 root 5 divided by 2. Take 2 as a common factor and cancel out. Your values are 3 plus r minus 2 root 5. Well, sorry, it's, it will be 3 plus r minus root 5 because your 2 will be cancelled. So you have two y values and replace y by x to the power half. So our first y value is take it as 3 plus root 5. Replace y by x to the power half 3 plus root 5. So square both sides, your x will be 3 plus root 5 whole square. And when you expand this, you got the value of x already. Do the same thing for 3 minus root 5 also. y equals 3 minus root 5. Replace y by x to the power half. And square both sides, your x is 3 minus root 5 whole square. Now when you expand this using algebraic identities a plus b whole square, your x will be a square plus 2ab plus b square, which is 9 plus 6 root 5 plus square root of 5 whole square is 5. Or in other words, 9 plus 5, 14 plus 6 root 5. That's the value of x. And here, the same thing you will have x is 14 minus 6 root 5. Because they both are same, only a plus b whole square, a minus b whole square. So you got two values. They want you to write the values in this form a plus b root of 5. So these two values are in the form a plus b root of uh, b root of c, I think. Your a, b, c are integers. 14, 6, 5 or 14 minus 6, 5 are all integers. That's it. This question has uh, 5 marks. So it can be any equation. You need to be very careful. It can be any equation. Sometimes you can see 3 by 2, 5 by 2 or not. If you take the middle term mostly as y and check first whether y square, your y square will give you the first term. If so, then replace everything to y, you will get a quadratic equation now. And we know how to solve a quadratic equation. 
then once once you solve this don't leave it here you won't get full mark because they want the solutions in x they want the values of x so replace y the two y values back to x again because we have taken y as x to the power half initially so replace y by x to the power half and find x again 